The widow of late gospel musician Gumpham Kabile does not want to live anymore. The widow of late award-winning gospel musician and reverend, Gumpham Kabile, has poured her heart out about not wanting to live anymore following the untimely demise of her husband in 2019. Speaking exclusively to Daily Sun ahead of the launch of her book Umayla Lokezit Alad Lilo, the barren widow, Anathim Kabile said dealing with victimization from her in-laws, loneliness, and health issues drove her to the edge. Anathai said sharing her journey with the world would expose the unpleasant treatment and abuse women go through when they fail to live according to the expectations of society. The book brings hope and heals those who are currently experiencing what I've been through. Her book will liberate many barren women from feeling less of a woman. Widows will, without a doubt, relate and gain strength from my book, said Anathai. She said since her husband's demise, it's been hard for her to move on. I've been derided, jeered at, and topped the agenda of gossip rings, all because I'm barren. People have judged me. They held a script at me. A script crafted by society and presented to me as a stencil by which I had to live my life. When my life didn't conform to that script, they treated me as if I was a lesser human being. But Anathai said she then picked up the pieces and glued them together with self-love, confidence, hope, and faith. Anathai said on the day she tossed a handful of soil on Gamafa's coffin, a part of her remained there. I couldn't think beyond the funeral service. I was numb, lost, and hurt. I felt rejected and unloved. I wished I could have gone with him. She said friends and family supported her. But the void was too large. I shed a lot of weight. I couldn't eat. I cried constantly and would sit in front of the TV for hours on end. I shut out a lot of people who tried to reach out to me. There were days I found myself angry with Gumpa for leaving me.